Picture this, the year is 1961, a time of innocence and simplicity, when television sets stood proudly as the epicenter of family entertainment. And amidst the black and white waves of nostalgia emerged a show that would soon etch itself into the memories of viewers across the nation. It was none other than Hazel, a series that took us on a delightful journey filled with humor, heartwarming moments, and a touch of timeless wisdom. Do you remember that first encounter with Hazel? The anticipation as the screen flickered to life, unveiling the misadventures of the lovable and outspoken maid who managed to turn every household chore into a comedic escapade. The show's charm lay not only in its witty dialogue, but also in the unforgettable characters who filled our living rooms with laughter. Whether it was Hazel's unmistakable sass, Mr. Baxter's bemused reactions, or the mischievous antics of the neighborhood kids, there was something truly magical about those moments captured on screen. But it wasn't just the characters that left an indelible mark, it was the way Hazel effortlessly navigated through the complexities of human relationships, touching on themes that still resonate today. It was a show that made us reflect on the value of family the joy of simple pleasures, and the wisdom of finding humor in life's quirks. And now, as we journey back in time, let's uncover some fascinating tidbits that you might not have known about this beloved series. Did you know that Hazel was based on a Saturday evening post-comic strip created by Ted Key? Or that Shirley Booth's portrayal of Hazel won her two primetime Emmy Awards? These intriguing nuggets of information peel back the curtain revealing the show's history and the dedicated individuals who brought it to life. So, let's delve deeper into the world of Hazel, exploring the anecdotes, behind-the-scenes stories, and the enduring impact that this charming series left on our hearts. Join me as we unravel the threads of nostalgia and embark on a journey through time, revisiting the moments that made Hazel a timeless classic. And now, without further ado, let's dive into the realm of random facts about the show, shedding light on the fascinating trivia that has enriched our understanding of this beloved series. Hit ready to be surprised, amused, and perhaps even a little nostalgic as we uncover the hidden gems that have been waiting to be discovered. Hazel TV Series, a glimpse into the past in the annals of television history. The 1961 series Hazel Stands is a charming relic of its era, capturing the essence of suburban life through the comical misadventures of its titular character. Beyond its endearing plots and characters, the show is marked by fascinating facts that reveal its influence on both popular culture and the automobile industry. During its initial four-season run, Hazel found an unusual but influential sponsor in the Ford Motor Company. Leveraging their clout, Ford seamlessly integrated their cars into the show's universe. The Baxter family's vehicles were exclusively Fords, providing a unique form of in-show advertising. The year 1964 saw a groundbreaking moment as Hazel became one of the first shows to feature characters cruising in a newly introduced Ford Mustang. This marked a pioneering partnership between television and the automotive industry, setting a precedent for future collaborations. Behind the scenes, an intriguing link emerged between the actress Whitney Blake and her character Dorothy Baxter. In an uncanny twist of fate, Blake, who portrayed the wife of George Baxter, and the mother of Harold Baxter was married to a real-life Mr. Baxter. This connection transcended the screen, as the couple had three children together. Notably, one of these children was Meredith Baxter, destined to follow her mother's path into the world of television. Meredith achieved fame as a TV wife and mother in the beloved 82nd sitcom Family Ties, where she played the mother of Michael J. Fox iconic character Alex Keaton. Adding a touch of camaraderie to the series, Hazel introduced an endearing element in the form of the Sunshine Girls, a sorority of maids led by none other than Hazel herself. This imaginative inclusion lent an air of solidarity and community to the world of domestic service, showcasing a unique bond between the show's characters and echoing the era's evolving social dynamics. In retrospect, Hazel remains a testament to the ever-evolving tapestry of television, weaving together entertainment, advertising, and personal connections. Its legacy persists not only through its episodes, but also through the subtle influence it exerted on the fabric of American culture. As the years roll on, Hazel stands as a reminder of a simpler time, when a TV show could spark conversations, drive trends, and forge unlikely associations, leaving an indelible mark on television history. 
Hazel's Evergreen Church in its cinematic journey in the classic 1961 TV series Hazel, an iconic opening scene captured the bustling household of the Baxter family. As Hazel, the indomitable housemaid, passed groceries to the family, the camera's lens focused momentarily on Dorothy Baxter. Beyond her, nestled among the trees, stood a quaint church, a picturesque backdrop that contributed to the show's charm. Yet, fate had intriguing plans for this church. Situated at a crosswalk from the Stephen House, it witnessed the unfolding of the Baxter family's comic escapades. A pivotal moment in the church's history arrived in 1970 when a ferocious blaze swept through the famed Columbia Ranch where the series was filmed. The church fell victim to the flames, reduced to ashes. However, the studio's determination prevailed. Columbia Studios embarked on a mission to restore the church to its former glory. A reconstructed church emerged, not on the original spot, but rather in the distance, as the camera observed the Baxters and Hazel walking away from a red convertible. The careful eye could notice the church taking shape behind the iconic tree near Mr. Baxter's car. Remarkably, today's digital maps may not capture the tree's existence, but the story lives on. The Reborn Church stands as a testament to the enduring legacy of Hazel, a show that left its mark not only on television, but also on the physical landscape of its set. As we journey back through the annals of television history, the tale of Hazel and her evergreen church reminds us of the magical interplay between fiction and reality. The series may have concluded, but the church's resilient revival continues to draw admirers, even as the Baxter family's adventures have faded into the realms of nostalgia. In the heart of television's golden era, Hazel found its place, weaving stories that transcended the screen, shaping not just entertainment, but also the very environment in which it was created. This piece is a tribute to the indelible connection between fiction and reality, a testament to the power of television to influence the tangible world around it. Hazel, a colorful comedy milestone of 1961 in the vibrant landscape of 1960s television, one series stands out not only for its charm, but also for its groundbreaking achievements. Hazel, a beloved sitcom that tickled the funny bones of viewers across America, left an indelible mark on television history. Based on the delightful cartoons penned by Ted Key, which originally graced the pages of the esteemed Saturday Evening Post magazine, Hazel transitioned seamlessly from print to screen. This adaptation brought to life the endearing character of Hazel, whose on-screen portrayal was so vivid that it transcended borders. In a quirky twist, the French version of the show baptized Hazel with the name Adele, a moniker that resonated as much in translation as it did in English. Yet, perhaps the most captivating aspect of Hazel was its foray into the world of color television. A pioneer in its own right, the show achieved the remarkable feat of being the first situation comedy series to grace screens in living color. While its maiden season debuted in the classic black and white palette, the subsequent four seasons bloomed with vibrant hues, enchanting audiences with its visual richness. As the laughter and warmth of Hazel spread across the airwaves, it wasn't just the witty writing and the impeccable comic timing that captured hearts. The series' unique journey from the pages of a magazine to a colorful television spectacle showcased the evolution of entertainment mediums. Hazel became a testament to the power of imagination, seamlessly bridging the gap between cartoons and sitcoms, and boldly embracing the transformative potential of color television. In an era marked by innovative leaps and cultural shifts, Hazel emerged as an emblem of change, weaving nostalgia with progress. Its legacy endures as a reminder that television, like life itself, is a canvas that can be painted with the most vibrant of hues. Shirley Booth's legacy, from Hazel to Mrs. Santa Claus, Shirley Booth, celebrated for her portrayal of the lovable and indomitable Hazel in the 1961 TV series, continued to captivate audiences even after the show's end. In a surprising turn, Booth lent her voice to the character of Mrs. Santa Claus in the 1974 film The Year Without a Santa Claus. Transitioning from the dynamic and down-to-earth Hazel to the enchanting Mrs. Santa Claus showcased Booth's remarkable versatility. Her ability to embody diverse roles solidified her status as a seasoned actress with a lasting impact. A house of many faces, iconic location on Blondie Street, the house that served as the residence for Hazel 
and the Baxter family in the 1961 TV series witnessed a remarkable transformation over the years. Nestled on Blondie Street within the Warner Ranch neighborhood in Burbank, this quintessential suburban home became a backdrop for various television productions. Notably, it was also featured as the home of Gidget Lawrence and her father in the 1965 TV sitcom Gidget and as the dwelling of teenager Anne Margaret and her father in the 1963 musical Bye Bye Birdie. Surprisingly, this same address made its mark in cinematic history, appearing as Roger Murdaugh's residence in the Lethal Weapon film franchise. Blondie Street stands as a tangible piece of television heritage, encompassing a variety of fictional worlds from beloved shows such as Bewitched, Father Knows Best, The Partridge Family, I Dream of Jeannie, and The Donna Reed Show. Even the 1998 film Pleasantville utilized this nostalgic block to depict an idealized TV neighborhood, further underscoring its enduring influence on visual storytelling. Baxter, a name rooted in reality, the family name Baxter carried a significant connection beyond the confines of the television screen. Whitney Blake, co-creator of the 1961 TV series Hazel, chose this name with a personal touch. Baxter was the name of her first husband and the father of her real-life daughter, Meredith Baxter. This subtle yet poignant nod to her family history infused an extra layer of authenticity into the show's narrative, cementing Hazel as a project with a heartfelt foundation. Shirley Booth's captivating transition, the ever-evolving house on Blondie Street, and the meaningful choice of the family name Baxter collectively showcased the rich tapestry of connections and influences that shaped the legacy of the 1961 TV series Hazel. As we close the chapter on our journey through the captivating world of Hazeland, it's fascinating to ponder the echoes of this timeless series in the corridors of our memories. Each episode, a brushstroke of artistry, each character, a thread weaving a tapestry of emotions. The yearning for adventure, the thrill of the unknown, and the bittersweet symphony of life's complexities, all intricately interwoven within the fabric of Hazeland. As you sit back and reflect on the moments that ignited your imagination, consider the stories that made your heart race and your mind wander. What made Hazelin special for you? Was it the characters you felt an instant connection with, or the thought-provoking dilemmas that mirrored your own? Perhaps it was the way the show effortlessly blurred the lines between reality and fiction, inviting you to explore the boundaries of your own perceptions. Now, it's your turn to share. Let your words be the bridge that connects your experiences with others who have also journeyed through the enigmatic world of Hazelend. Your memories and insights, like fragments of stardust, will enrich the collective tapestry of appreciation for this remarkable series. So, dear friend, whether you've watched Hazelend under the dim glow of a vintage television or immersed yourself in its wonders through modern screens, your connection to the show is a testament to its enduring magic. Your thoughts, like ripples in a pond, will continue to inspire fellow viewers to dive into the show's depths, discovering new layers of meaning with each viewing. Thank you for allowing us to share in your exploration of Hazeland and for being a part of this beautifully intricate narrative. Your engagement adds a unique hue to the canvas of discussions that swirl around this iconic show. As the curtain falls on our musings, remember that your voice matters, your memories are treasures, and your insights are sparks that keep the flame of Hazeland alive. With heartfelt gratitude, your name.